Well, they're already in Luz's quarter. Or, no, Luz's semis, actually. They're in Luz's semis now just to be here. This is amazing. And defeating the likes of Dil Ralphie, like, this is nothing to scoff at. But you got 6WX and Uno, one of the best teams in Philly right now. The Brothers United. Yeah, you, you talked about a team being formed last second. This is a team that's been formed since, like, out of the womb, man. Like, they, they are brothers in arms, brothers in real life. They've been practicing together since, like, uh, Smash 4. Yeah. Where Uno is actually a prime, was a primarily doubles player back in Smash 4. You didn't really see him enter singles too often, only just to help out six wicks. But six? Former PGR himself, one of the one of the better players in Smash 4, kind of struggled a little bit out of the gate with Ultimate. Sonic wasn't working out, Incineroar wasn't working out, but ever since Joker's been released, this guy has been dominating. And let's be real, it's not just Joker being released, it's Arsene. And once again, this is something I mentioned in a previous set with Rickles. He is so good at cornering people and knowing exactly what they're going to go for because he, he banks on you rolling away from that edge. He has an up smash. That giant sword might as well be called the Rickles, man. Wow. That throw actually from the Belmont actually killing Joker. That's stronger than I actually thought it would be. Really strong throw. You got to respect it. That, that, again, Rickles is hoping for that that uh, roll on the edge of the stage. And honestly, you'll see that a lot. And oh gosh, Simon Moosh fell to his death. Looked like he didn't have the correct resources to get back to the stage. Six looking for an early edge. Did that just happen? That had so many combos. You see Rickles connect two up airs, swing him. Into the edge of the stage, good God! Now the, the, oh my God, the double roller right there. Now this is the most dangerous thing. Uno is so good, especially with Inkling, at just racking up so much damage. And Joker's just that kill power. Especially on ledge, Joker's so good at edge guarding his opponents. Arsene's it, got that kill power. Yes, and especially with stuff like Downward Gun, especially on someone like Belmont, who has enough trouble as getting back to stage already, it's a tough situation. And this is the time where Rickles needs to focus on Six. This is Six, uh, Rickles cannot let Six get to Moosh. Because if it's if it's six moosh, there's a problem there. Right. I mean, because like, people say that the Belmonts are extremely unorthodox in doubles because they they, need, they require, they're like a zoning character, right? And that's hard to kind of like throw out when there's so much chaos happening on stage, especially like on a stage like Final Destination when there's like no platforms or anything for you to chill on. Okay, there we go. Down. Oh, oh my God. That was so smart. Good pickup. But then he kills his teammate by accident. He was expecting a roll from six wicks, and it just didn't come at come true. 6WX trying to get the gun ball. Honestly, oh, the if, save from Moosh. If he goes for the aerial gun like that and aim, aims it downwards, it's yep. really good edge guard against someone who doesn't have like the best recovery like the Belmonts. Did he actually just go for that down air? If he would have whiffed that. That was ballsy. And he connected it. Caught 6WX completely off guard and actually saved his teammate from being potentially edge guarded by, by Joker. The side B coming out right now, just sending so much pressure into Rickles. Rickles send, getting sent off stage. Moosh now off stage, and this is where it's bad right now. You got our send Joker and Moosh as the Belmont, and he's just not going to make it back to that. Oh, and he, you saw how close he was to that ledge for it not to work. But regardless, Uno going to connect that down smash, send him flying, or sorry, down tilt, my bad. Going to kick him off in the blast zone. That's going to be game one going to the Brothers Extraordinaire, 6WX and Uno. Yeah, the gun downward is just so good off stage, especially like like we said, like these are two characters in Ganon and, uh, and Belmont that just aren't the best. Aren't, they aren't yeah. known for recovery. Let's talk about the characters that move kill, shall we? Belmont, Crom and Roy, Little Mac. Anyone that just has a crappy recovery off stage, well, they're going to get destroyed by that gun. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's literally one of the most simple moves in the game, one of the most simple concepts for a move, but it just dominates off stage. And not even just that, but just staying on stage, staying near ledge, our send Joker especially is one of the best characters in the game when it comes to ledge guarding. So it's just going to be that much harder unless some one of their teammates comes in and protects them. But when you have someone like Uno to deal with on the side, how are you going to get in? Bro, I'm going to be real. I have I do not remember this move from Persona 5. I don't remember him shooting gun, his gun, like in that fashion, like trying to land down with it. Maybe it's some special that I don't remember. I the, don't remember. That's maybe probably, it's, in, maybe it's, it's in Royale. It's, it's definitely going to be in Royale. I mean, that's why they gave him the grappling hook. Yes. That's in Royale. Because so. that was never in 5. Yeah. So when I saw that, I'm like, well, what was this all about? But then we got the remix coming out. But speaking of remix, let's go into game number two. We got a remix of a song from Animal Crossing coming in for well, both. We got some Richter now. We yeah. got the Richter coming out. And absolutely no difference is going to happen in this match. Hey, just that's purely cosmetic. That's the cosmetic <laughs> switch, right? That's the yeah. most positive switch you can make. Like, yeah. That's when you're like, no, I'm serious now. Both Belmonts are, pr are exactly the same except for their Holy Waters, which just kind of have slightly different properties. One's yep. fire, one's water. But that does not affect this matchup whatsoever. It's one of the, it's one of those personal feelings, you know. Like no, like no, I'm going serious now. I'm Richter now. Yeah. Like it's one of those kind of things, but it will literally do nothing any otherwise. 
Okay, well, good pickup from 6WX. This is, the, this is the type of synergy that I love from uh, 6WX and Uno, right? Whenever someone gets a grab, like, Uno knows not to follow up because he knows 6WX is right there, can easily jump up there and get a follow up himself. And probably a bigger, bigger one, too, with our sent out. And, like, you gotta think of how much these guys can practice as well. When you're with a double spawner, usually it's like you gotta discuss, like, oh, can I come, can you come over? Like, we'll practice a little bit. Yeah. Literally, they can just walk into each other's rooms, like, we're playing, we're practicing right now. They have all the time in the world to do it, and it pays off with stuff like this. Oh my god, the Ganon up B actually what kills 6WX in the and end. And oh it gives him god. the boot. And honestly, that up B was really smart because it's, it, when you do it from the ground like that, it's a command grab. Like, yeah. it, it, that's essentially what it is. It goes right through shield. It can catch a lot of people off guard. There we go. Got a lot of, uh, I like this control the guy going, especially yeah. with uh, with Richter out here. Does a lot of damage on when they're just trying to keep both opponents off stage. Is that very little that, uh, you know, Rickles has to do in this regard. Their Vermouche just got him off stage like that. Nice pick up oh from 6WX, God. and he gets the forward air. He did the exact same thing that Rickles did earlier. Okay, but I need you to realize that Moosh was so far off stage and just went for the up because he saw the one platform come through, and he's like, I need a time that's perfectly land on platform. Oh, he landed like right no. on the edge of that 18 top platform. percent That is uh, so unfortunate right now. And now it's just the combos of the brothers. Uno honestly just found the opening, had him off stage. 18%, good night. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, pray. <laughs> Pick another character. I don't know, man. That was rough to watch. I mean, the, the, the set was actually close until the double kill from 6WX happened, followed immediately by an 18% gimp from uh, Uno with the down air against Rickles offstage. That was just brutal. Second they got Ganon offstage. And that's another character that kind of struggles whenever they're out Absolutely. of resources. The second you have a Ganondorf offstage with no double jump, he... He's going to be he's between a rock and a hard place, because he's trying to get back to the you, stage. You basically have three options. You can either air dodge right in, you can side B into the ledge, or you can come low with it. And or he, even he was recover all, high. He, and he was already low, so there was no way for him to go for the side no. B or air dodge. So his only option was up B. So it was an incredibly predictable recovery for Uno to easily get that down air. And, you know, when you're playing a character like Richter, who can't really afford to go off stage to help the uh, the teammate without, you know, putting himself at risk, it's... It, it, it's a tough scenario, and that's exactly what uh, 6WX and Uno were trying to abuse against these opponents. And these are two players that can, the second they exploit something from you, they're going to exploit the hell out of it. They know exactly your flaws before you even know. Like, and they're going to push the crap out of it. And right now, with staying with the same characters, oh, I saw that collection of mana right there. I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. But we're actually going into this game three right now. 6WX and Uno up 2-0 in this. Sticking with the same. We're actually going back to the Simon. But we're sticking basically with the same characters right now. What do they have to do here? What do Rickles and Moosh going to Kalos have to do in this situation? Now? They have to live. Honestly, that is like the biggest component. Is that like they're, they're just at two. They keep dying at super low percents because both their characters don't have like the greatest of recoveries. Yes, you know, the Belmonts do have the, the mix-up with the tether recovery, but the second they can't land that, they rely on the LB, it's donezo. And the, the the good thing, I like the synergy of the Belmont Ganon, because Belmont is someone that can rack up damage a little quicker, and Ganon can just kill so early on. So it's not a bad concept, they just gotta ex execute it. They just gotta make sure that uh, Rickles can actually get these kill moves off in time. But like Ganon's just a, such a slow character compared to the speed of a, our Joker, especially with Arsene and Inkling also, that it's just so much harder to get the moves off that they need. They need to work with each other. They need to help space each other out. I kind of respect that dash stack coming out from Rickles when he saw his teammate was grounded. Didn't want to go for big punish. Inkling's up. He's going to send bye-bye to Rickles. You saw him trying to hold on to that double jump for as long as possible, but Uno knows that the, the it was already secured. He just had to get the one ink jump. Is that a Warlock? Punch? That was a Warlock. That down smash, though. Coming out and killing six on the ledge right there. Getting low, has to get back to stage and is able to get Moosh out of bad situation there. Okay, you'll notice that a lot of that Moosh is doing. He's throwing the cross to the right or like away from the opponent so that he comes back and just catches a lot of them off guard. That's actually a really smart play coming out from him too. Cause like in single, in one v ones, it's not as you know. Uh, Good because you can just see them when you're focusing prepared. clearly yeah. on the Belmont. But he's throwing it out there when there's like so much chaos happening. And now, oh, Rickles finds his uh, answer with a back air, gets rid of the Woomy, but there goes that's going to be Moosh falling into the blast zone. Simon saying good night. Not uh, Rickles just able to recover. I thought the Uppy was actually going to give him once again, but now six with Arsene is actually going to do that and kill Rickles off the side. Extremely Rickles down to his player. last stock. That back air sent him flying. 
There we go, down air trying to get the Force Smash right afterwards, but Rickle's gonna challenge the monster. Get this Persona character out of here, get out. Is this an anime character in my Legend of Zelda? And here's the thing we also haven't even talked about yet. The more that they go after Uno, the better it is. No! He cut, I'm so sorry to cut you off, man, but like that was that was just disastrous. That honestly just spelled their defeat, in my honest opinion. Yeah, no, this could easily be jumps. game set. And that's, there no, it that's is, it. that one crucial move. Moosh came to save the day, but he got his double. He didn't get his double jump back. Trying again. Oh. He wanted to get the up B, and then he fell to his death. Oh, no, not that like this. What a way to go out, trying to save his partner in the last-ditch effort. I mean, what else can you do? That down smash sealed their fate. Yeah.